All right. Good morning, everyone. I hope we are all doing well. It's Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesday is also one of my favorite day just because we are in the middle of the week. Like we are running towards week, week 10. You can imagine. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited for today. Well, so welcome. We are going to go through our routine. <clears throat> we are going to go through our routine stand up. Um, um activity where we are going to be sharing our updates regarding uh what we have been doing since yes since monday or even since yesterday what's the progress any support needed we would love to hear from the both technical and non-technical parts so yeah let's get started uh if you still if you have your slack with you Please, uh, you can drop a message into your group to alert others to uh, to join us. Well, all right. I can see Ekram has already shared her update into the chat box. Then moving forward, we are going to be starting with Aaron. I can see your hand is on, and then from Aaron, you are going to nominate the person who's going to go next. And of course, uh, let's be proactive. If we are nominated, <clears throat> let's be proactive and open our mics and speak. That would be it. So, Aaron, welcome. Birahan, you want to go first? Yeah, I can I can go first. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So I... Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay, okay, nice. So yesterday was good. Like I tried to go over the resources, links, and stuff like that, and attended almost all the uh, sessions. So it was a good day. Like I get to learn a lot of stuff about Solidity and Ethereum and how can uh, we can use it. So today I'll be working on more focused on writing those reports in clean and nice way, and then work on using Solidity in local machine. Um, that's the plan for today. Thank you. All right, have you started to work on also the non-technical segment? No, I haven't. All right, nominate the person to go next. Okay, should I nominate or? Yes. Um. Okay, let's see who's here. Okay, uh, I don't know who's not all is, but yeah, now go ahead. Mm, okay, so if now is saying, uh, he said to write some messages, so I will nominate Lilian next. Lillian, are you there? Well, all right, uh, let's hear from Elias. Hello guys. Good morning. I'm Good morning. Can you hear me? Yep, we can. Uh, yesterday, 
Dr. Burhan said, I go through some of the reports uh, given on task one, and I try to familiarize myself with solidity and uh, working environment. Uh, and I attend most of the lectures too. Today, my plan is working on the interim deliverable for the interim submission and task two for the number rating project. Have a good day. All right, Elias, keep it up. Um, since the nomination seems uh, random and people are not ready, let's have people who are ready to share. You can just raise your hand and open your mic, as we usually do. <laughs> All right, Basilev. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, all right. So yeah, yesterday was just uh, trying to. We had a presentation, and so we prepared for the presentation, and then tried through tried to read through task one and understand uh, how Ethereum works, uh, just general sense, and then. I just experimenting with uh, Solidity and Remix, and now I'm gonna try to set it up in my local environment, and then uh, and then try it out uh, today. So that's the plan for today, and then write the interim report. And yeah, that's my update. All right, Basil, keep it up with the report as well. Um, same to Rodolf. All right, Abraham. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay, just to give a quick update on my uh, side. Uh, yesterday, I was trying to go over the documents and some of the links that help us understand the Ethereum and Sol Solidity better. So uh, I've been going through them a bit and today I, for, I, I, I plan to continue going over them again and also setting up my environment and working on the remaining tasks and of course getting prepared to uh, deliver the, ta the deliverables for today. Yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Okay, Abraham, keep it up. Anyone who has any questions or need any support? Anyone? In the meantime, we can still be giving out updates on how it was yesterday and what are we doing today? Yeah, guys, still waiting for hands to go on. Yes, AI. Good morning, Pascal and everyone. Uh, so yesterday, um, I go through the challenge document on task two. So uh, the first thing I did was to take a course uh, from Crypto Zombies. Uh, after I finished that, uh, I start work. Uh, I start uh, working on the number beating uh, DAP, and I uh, run that on Remix and try to run it locally. Uh, so that was good, uh, and I also. Uh, set up my local environments so today i will uh, write the report and read more about solidity and react native 
that's the plan uh yeah thank you Thank you. Apologies, guys. Uh, my laptop blacked out. Uh, but let's continue. AIA, um, I think I lost you in the middle. Did you complete your updates? Uh, yes, I thought I did. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so do you want me to repeat it again? Oh, no, uh, it's all right. It's all right if you completed and if everyone um, heard you, it's all right. We can go to the next person. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's see some hands up. I can see we are many of us here. Is here from Abel, Abramadis, Basilel, Magdes, Melat, Meron. All right, Magdes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, yesterday was somehow a good. I took a zombie, uh, crypto zombie uh, course, and it uh, gave a base for Solidity program. And also, I start coding a smart contract, but I got a problem saying that uh, I didn't custom my IPFA setting. Maybe if anyone could help me with this, that would be appreciated. Thank you. Okay, make this. I think I heard you, but not sure if everyone heard you because your voice was so low. Uh, but hope you guys caught her as well. Uh, anyone else? Let's see some hands up before we run out of time. Just give out your updates. Yes, Addis. Uh, good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Good morning. Good morning. So yeah, yesterday uh, I uh, I go through uh, most of the resources on the challenge documents, and uh, I believe I got a good understanding of the business school, as well as uh, blockchain te technology and its components. And I also uh, try uh, to create a smart contract on uh, the remix and also got a good understanding of uh, solidity programming and i also try to set up uh, an environment locally uh, using trough so yeah this is uh, what i have done yesterday and for today uh, i will uh, keep uh, studying on some of the resources and work on the deliverabilities and uh, uh, i have a slightly quest question on uh, the business school. I didn't get the. Uh, I I didn't get the app. How the application? How it's going to be related with the smart contract? Maybe if anyone had the, uh, got this part, it would be nice if uh, you explain. Okay. Just thanks for raising that. Anyone? 
anyone who has already done that or understands that. Or at least you mind repeating, just in case they didn't get you well. So, uh, so I think we were supposed to develop an application. So I didn't get, understand how it's going to uh, integrate it with uh, smart contracts or the the use of the application. Yeah, that's what what I don't understand. Yes, Melat. Okay, so um, I think uh, I'm going to try to answer Abraham's question mm -hmm. based on my understanding. So the mobile app is going to be uh, the main purpose of it is to send the uh, the driver's location with an interval of time to our backend. This is the main uh, objective of the I think the mobile app. Uh, in addition to that, they will be able to see how much money they raised, and you know, so, and also other things as well. So, so uh, we're gonna use the mobile app just to keep track of the driver's location. Yes, that based on my understanding, that's what I understood. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Oh. Already thinks Melat Aya, you want to add something? Yeah, um, just to add more on what uh, Melat said. Uh, basically, the how the system works is, in my understanding, uh, we will have um, a, a fixed a fixed location, like a drop off, uh, and then uh, using the uh, drivers. Uh, mobile gps data uh, we will calculate the distance between uh, the driver and the uh, drop off or the place where they were supposed to go and if they are within uh, a given range uh, with a specified time uh, which means they comply with the uh, contract so they will be rewarded if they are out of uh, the range, uh, they will be penalized. Uh, that's how I understand it. So to integrate uh, the uh, blockchain in the front end, we need to uh, get the data from the GPS uh, and send it to the smart contract, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks, Aya. Yeah, yeah. Addis, you you got you got that you got the idea. Yes, yes. Thank you, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Alexander, can go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you. Good morning, all. Um, my I have raised my hand uh, firstly to add something about Abraham's question, but. Yeah, yeah, raised my ideas. Uh, I think that is a point. When it come to my updates for this week, uh, for yesterday, I already completed understanding some concepts other than solidity. I am also uh, reading and research about solidity. Uh, now I will set up uh, some parts of the environment and uh, today I will plan to focus on today's deliverable. Uh, I have understand well, uh, almost all the concepts rather than come to the technical part. All, uh, I have attended all the tutorials and prior sessions. 
uh, that were performed yesterday. I will uh, plan uh, today to focus on the deliverables. Thank you, you all. Uh, this is my uh, updates regarding Amazing, Alexander, keep it up. Um, let's hear from more five people. Okay, but if uh, yes. I have a, I raise one uh, question, maybe yes, yeah, yes. yeah, have an idea. Yeah, yeah, what is uh, the geolocation uh, you, you understand? I, in my understanding, there is a driver, a geolocation, and a blockchain system uh three of the separate thing is when the driver uh takes rent car from somewhere take an example from an investor and the what is the purpose of geolocation here not only yeah yeah for any other body to have an idea about geolocation or what is the purpose of geolocation uh, here? Um, yeah, we cannot hear you well. No. Uh, okay, oh, now we can oh, hear you. Oh, I was... <laughs> uh, so the the uh, it, it's the, the the company is it's a, a logistics and a delivery industry right so yes. uh, i think the idea is to make sure that the the drivers are within a specified range of for the delivery system uh, to uh, tra transport goods right so there will be a, a place where uh, they, they will pick up the, the, the goods. Uh, but before they do that, they have to be in the uh, uh, around the area of that storage. That, that's what the contract is all about. So the geolocation, you will have the, the latitude and la longitude of that fixed uh, storage place. And then the driver's location. So you, you calculate that distance basically. So for example, if we say uh, they have to be um, within uh, a kilometer range uh, between, uh, I, I don't know, uh, ATM or 830 uh, within that specified time, if they are in that range, they will be rewarded because they comply uh, with the, the contract, uh, otherwise they will be uh, penalized. So the, the geolocation is one is from the uh, driver's GPS and the other is the a fixed location that you can uh, set it up. That's what I understand. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Abel, you want to add something or you want to share updates? I have a, a specific question regarding the geolocation. So okay. uh, my question is, so we are talking about penalizing and rewarding. So uh, on smart contracts or, or on a blockchain, there isn't any way if uh, that you want to, if you want to get back your money, uh, the only way you can get back the money is if the uh, holder of the money sends you the uh, actual money that you have transferred. So basically, uh, I want some things to be clarified when we talk about penalizing and rewarding because we cannot penalize on blockchain. The only way to penalize is uh, for them to send us the money. And I don't think so that's possible on blockchain. So the other thing I want to ask you is that it's gas money. We cannot be updating each location every time on the smart contract because uh, whenever we uh, add uh, information on the ledger, there is a gas money we have, pay, we have to pay. So that's another concern uh, that I want to ask. When will we be updating the ledger? Because as I said, there is a gas money and it's not cheap. So for Ethereum, it's about $0.7, which is too much. So uh, that's also that uh, what I want to ask. Uh, 
And I think uh, also the team Karami team to kind of respond on this. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Yes. So, uh, you write. I'm sorry. Who is the one asking the question? It's me. Okay, Abby. Uh, we you can uh, sending the location every time to, like you said, to increase the the fee. We can make the. If the person who are or they first to send their location when they arrived and that particular uh, duration in time, so that we can limit the, the fee. We shouldn't make send every time location to the smart contract. That's not smart to do that. And first for the penalty part, uh, so when someone or the employee or the delivery person send their location when they arrive at the particular time they pay a gas fee from their personal account. So if they are not on their in that particular location, it means they will lose that money, which will go to the contract owner or the admin owner. But if they are arrived on the particular location, the purpose is to refund that money to them, that money they paid uh, when they announced their location. So the penalty would be not to return that money to them. So, yeah, yeah, I think so. So that's, we are supposed to uh, uh, penalize the money that we are supposed to be giving them. So if yeah. they were to accept, uh, I, I, let's say, one Ethereum, and uh, if they were out of zone while arriving, so we can kind of decrease <coughs> in some factor and give them less than one Ethereum. So I, I, I think that's Either the right do not give them the money at all, or... Mm -hmm. You can just decrease something and give them back. It's just how you write the contract. You have those two options to penalize it. All right. So, so it should be post after the arriving. Everything shall be happening once once they arrive. They arrive, I think so. So, within the specified time, uh, we will track how they were behaving, and once they arrive, we kind of proceed on penalizing or rewarding them. I guess, right? Yes. It should work automatically. If you see the contract, once they mm -hmm. arrive and you have that information, the smart contract automatically should either refund them or punish them based on their location space. And for the reward, depending on how you write the contract, again, the smart contract will automatically reward them the token reward. Okay. So one more question that I want to ask is, uh, shall the admin set a starting and a destination? point so that uh, yes. they can know all of it. it so be, uh, here... consider you are the company who are this delivery persons. So you have some set of uh, location destination. So, all right. So should we be using routes uh, instead of boundaries or uh, routes along with boundaries or boundaries only? I think you should use both. Uh, you should use both. You, you should have a route and a boundary also, which are under duration. Yes, because uh, yeah, the route uh, specifically kind of tells how the driver beha was behaving, especially uh, when delivering the item. Yeah. So one more thing I want to ask here is uh, routes is not free. Uh, I don't know if it's okay. if the board is free also because the Google Map API is a paid API, not a free one. So, what shall we be doing about that? For that, uh, Nati has a tutorial specifically that focuses on the geographical part of the application. So, I would recommend you to ask him. He will give you better answers there. Yeah, All right. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Rahmat, for supporting Basilel. Uh, yeah, hey guys. Uh, I actually got confused when you were talking with others. So my understanding of the project was that we would have like a score 
based method. So uh, like there would be a score and if consistently uh, this uh, this person is, for example, uh, keeping up, then they would uh, then they would get incentives. So they would get like additional money for for keeping it and then maybe uh, maybe a lower score for not keeping it. Am, am I right or how, how does the scoring system work? Yes, you can just have a state variable to score every time an employee uh, do the, what they're supposed to do, be in the specified location and in duration. You can give them score, I mean, a rating score. And every time they have done something, uh, what they're supposed to do, you don't have to give them your token because uh, maybe a month of the improved demands can give some kind of incentive every month. It shouldn't be every time they have done that because you will be out of token quickly, so. Oh. So the penalty would be not giving them them that. I'm sorry, I didn't get questions. And but the penalty will be not not giving them uh, yes. like the ether, or is there like, uh, you know, with the rating effect, uh, maybe other parts, or is the smart contract only limited to this? Like, for example, whether people will use them or not, or something like that, or it's not something related to that, right? It's about the penalty, right? Yeah. Yeah, for the penalty, when the first the, the delivered person sends the location to the application, they will pay a fee from their personal account, uh, which is a loss for them if they does not get a refund back when they have done good. So as a penalty, you, you, you can make your smart contract not to refund that particular person. Okay. okay. Thank you. So one more question here. Uh, do we implement two smart contracts, one for uh, the ECR20 and one for the refunding and uh, checking the uh, dual location? Yeah, you can do that. There is one option to connect those two smart contracts to read each other. Uh, I would recommend again to uh, research on solidity more. That we can uh, deploy to smart contracts and by importing one of them in the other, it will connect so they can read each other. Uh, you can do that either. Also, you can uh, also create one smart contract that connect both. Okay, thank you. Okay, Pascaline, you can continue. All right, Ramat. Um, we are already on time. If anyone has a question, can you raise it? Yes, Abdul Ahmed. Uh, so I have a question regarding the penalty. So Rahmat, you said uh, not giving back the gas money or the gas fee would be used as a penalty. But from what I understood, the gas money is to be paid to the one that actually mined the block. So I don't think that we have access to the gas money to refund it back to the actual driver. Am I correct? Yeah, you can You can just, uh, I mean, the amount of gas money that would be spent every time uh, that particular delivered person uh, uses function to send their location, I think you can know that by when you test that. So just make sure that you cut that gas fee and uh, to be subtracted from the account owner account when there's a refund. Oh, okay. You can it's find so that gas money when you test uh, that yeah. function. It's, it's okay. going to be similar for everyone. Okay. So, so basically it will be only contacting the smart contract once once when uh, the, the driver arrives at the destination that will be when the uh, gas money will be sent yes 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 so i have a question regarding the security here um like wouldn't it be like easy to fool the system like uh, it's only requiring uh, to be at, at a certain place at a certain time right so uh, those two, those two uh, data are coming from the client. So the client 
can spoof these uh, two datas to be uh, like to be within this within that condition that the smart contract checks but not actually physically being at that place yeah on your front end you can make sure the data that uh, the driver trying to send is similar with the geographical which is the mobile exist point out so if it's not similar you can avoid to be sent to the smart contract okay okay thank you So then some of the tasks you have to do on it on the front end part because the smart contract cannot be changed and everything like that stuff. So try to do most of the security part on the front end. For this project. All right, um, Abdullah, me the user is satisfied with the answer. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, if we don't have any other question that RefNet can address, then we can call it a day. I'll just join the training, the tutorial by Nati. I think it can give you more explanations, especially on the GPS and everything parts, because you have done similar projects before. Maybe something better than the already question answers that I gave you. So make sure to join there. That's my kind of information. I think. All right.